Creating online quizzes just got a whole lot easier by combining the power of JotForm with ChatGPT. I have a link in the description that you can go check out to get started using the JotForm AI quiz generator. Yes, it is a mouthful, but it does explain exactly what it is. And you have two ways to get started using the AI quiz generator by file or by prompt. By file, you have the ability to upload a PDF, a PowerPoint, a document, a text file, and the other option is by prompt. And by prompt, it gives you a nice example here. The great thing with the combination with JotForm and ChatGPT is that JotForm will automatically create the quiz based on the questions that ChatGPT provides. So let's get started and I'll show you exactly how this works. So I'm gonna do it by file. I'm gonna upload a branding ebook that I created a few years ago and we're gonna see how we do. So I'm gonna click on drag and drop because I have it right here on another screen. We'll plop it in there and I have the option to change the file if I want to and we'll click on continue. What we get is a default options here. So you start you off with 10 questions, it starts you off with the US language. You can change it to any type of language that's more convenient for you. And you also have a type, three types of questions to ask. You could say multiple choice, single choice, yes and no. It doesn't have to be one or three. You could have all three. Let's do all three in fact right here. And we'll do 10 questions, make it nice and short. And the next options that you have is to go through the document itself and pick and choose which of the specific files you wanna use for your quiz. Obviously we do not wanna include the table of contents and the title page. So what I did is I just said select all and then I went and just manually unselected the ones that I don't want to have included as part of the quiz here that I do not want to include. Okay. So once that is all done, you can then click on create and we'll spend about 30 seconds or so going through the content and creating the quiz question. So yeah, that took roughly 30 to 45 seconds. I didn't really, wasn't timing it, but approximately that. And it will give you a nice title of what it thinks it should be. And I'll show you how to customize all that in a minute. But basically you're ready to go. You've got your questions here. You can click start and it will take you through all the questions that it has here for you. So you can go through the quiz and make sure that the questions make sense. But the big thing here is that you can regenerate a question if you're not happy with how it came out. So Let's just click on regenerate this question. It will then go through the document and create a new question for us based on the original question. Okay, so after it regenerated the question, it doesn't take you back to the question, it takes you back to the beginning, then you have to click start again, and then you can go through each one one at a time. If you wanna further customize your quiz, you can click on the customize button here that will take you over to the JotForm form builder. If you click on share quiz, it will take you over to the quick share option under the publish tab where you can grab the URL, invite people and share it out through social media. But let's click on customize. And again, it will take you over to the JotForm form builder. And if you're not familiar with JotForm, I do have a video that you can go check out that will show you how to use the JotForm form builder. Basically on the left is your form elements and on the right is your form designer. So you can add in additional form elements to this. So if you wanted to capture people's email addresses as they took the test or names or something like that, you can do that. But basically it puts it into what they call a card format. In JotForm that just means one question at a time. I prefer that, but there is a way to change that into one long quiz if you wanted to do that. And I'll show you that in a second. But in the card format, you have a welcome page. So you can go in here and change out the title, change out the subheading, and also under the form designer, you can change out the look so if you wanted to have a, a different look you want to have a background image you can do all that there too we're going to keep everything as is because this is just a demo to show you how it works but i do want to show you that to change the layout into a single form or the classic form in JotForm speak then you could just click on that and the classic form here and it will switch over to one long quiz that you can go and share out if you wanted to well, we'll keep everything the way it is. At the very end of our quiz here, we do have our score, which you'll see at the end when I take this. You can also then go in and make these questions required because by default, they are not required. So if I go into properties, I can click on required so that each 
question is required to be answered, but that's how you do that. Also, if you're interested to know what the correct answers are, go into the options here, you'll see a value here, then you know that's the correct answer because it's calculating the values. If you wanted to add answers, change answers, if you wanted to change the question, if you're not happy with it yourself, you're welcome to do that here inside the form builder, just like a regular form in Jot form. Let's go ahead and take the quiz. So we'll turn on preview form and we'll click on start and zip right through this. There you go. We, we got our score here. We scored 100 out of 100. Woohoo! Yay. <laughs> and we have the ability to retake it. So that's a quick look at the JotForm AI quiz generator. Let me know what you think. Post in the comments below. Thanks. Take care.